Great Dane puppies can be quite a handful. Between biting, chewing, and general mischievousness, it's enough to make any owner wonder if their Dane will ever calm down. The truth is that all puppies go through a fear period between the ages of 8 and 12 weeks old. During this time, Great Danes may be more timid than usual and may startle easily. This is normal puppy behavior and is nothing to be concerned about. Great Danes will typically calm down after this period. Of course, every dog is different, and some may remain active well into their adulthood. However, most Great Danes will mellow out as they get to be an adult. In this video, we'll take you through the entire process of calming down your bouncing Great Dane puppy. When do Great Danes calm down? Great Danes need a lot of exercise when they are puppies, but as they get older, their activity level decreases. By the time your Dane is two years old, he will have calmed down a great deal from his puppy days. The best way to ensure that your Great Dane grows into a calm and well-rounded dog is to socialize him early in life. Mental stimulation is just as important for dogs as physical activity, and it can help to tire them out both physically and mentally. Let's discuss these aspects in detail. Socialization. Providing your Great Dane with plenty of opportunities to socialize with other dogs and people. Enrolling in obedience classes and playing interactive games are all great ways to socialize your pup and help him learn how to behave. When a Great Dane calms down depends on the dog's individual personality, how the dog was socialized as a puppy, and the dog's age. Mental stimulation. Enrolling in obedience classes, playing interactive games, and providing opportunities to socialize with other dogs and people are all great ways to help your pup learn how to behave. Still, every dog is different. So if you have any concerns about your dog's behavior, be sure to consult with a breed specialist. As any pet owner knows, keeping a calm and well-behaved pet is not always easy, and this is especially true for giant breeds. Without enough mental stimulation, these dogs can become restless and destructive. That's why it's important to provide plenty of opportunities for your Great Dane puppy to exercise both its body and their mind. Exercising. As any dog owner knows, exercise is essential for keeping your furry friend healthy and happy. But when it comes to Great Danes, the amount of exercise they need can be downright daunting. Scheduling regular walks is the key to keeping your dog's energy levels in check. These low-energy dogs were not bred for work, so if they don't get enough exercise or playtime, their pent-up passion will manifest into something worse. You might ask, how much exercise do they need? A good rule of thumb is at least an hour of strenuous activity per day. This can be broken up into several shorter sessions, but it's important to make sure your dog is getting enough exercise to burn off all that energy. But you need to be careful during the exercises. Great Danes are one of the largest breeds of dogs, and as a result, they require a fair amount of exercise to stay healthy. However, hours of running and playing can be hard on a young dog's bones and joints. For this reason, it is generally recommended that owners wait until their pet is at least two years old before engaging in vigorous physical activity. Go on regular walks. Regular walks are a great way to tire them out physically, while puzzle toys and training exercises can help to keep their minds sharp. Once they reach adulthood, Great Danes can generally handle hours of exercise without any problems. However, it is always best to consult with a veterinarian before starting any new physical activity regime. Training. Training is also a great way to tire out a Great Dane. Not only will it help them to focus their energy, but it will also give them a chance to bond with you. So if you're thinking about getting a Great Dane, be prepared to commit to an active lifestyle. Of course, this doesn't mean that Great Danes have to be couch potatoes for the first 18 months of their lives. A moderate amount of exercise, such as going for walks or playing in the yard, is perfectly fine for young dogs. Does training help a puppy stay calm? If you've ever been around a puppy, you know that they have a lot of energy. They seem to be constantly running and jumping around, and it can be hard to get them to calm down. This is why many people wonder if training a puppy might help them to stay calm. Interestingly, there is some evidence that training can indeed help a puppy stay calm. In particular, puppies who are trained for several hours a day tend to be calmer than those who are not trained at all. This is likely because the training provides them with a routine and gives them a chance to burn off some of their excess energy. What should be your puppy training routine? Of course, training a puppy takes patience and dedication. But if you're willing to put in the work, it could pay off in a calmer, more well-behaved pup. 
If you're not sure where to start, there are plenty of resources available online or from your local pet store. With a little guidance, you can train your puppy to be the calmest dog on the block. Playtime for a Great Dane Puppy A hyper Great Dane puppy may seem like excess energy personified, but don't mistake all that puppy playfulness for a lack of intelligence. As large breed dogs, they need plenty of free playtime to maintain their health and properly develop their temperament. Great Dane puppies especially benefit from walks and other opportunities to explore their world and learn new things. But all that physical activity isn't just good for their bodies, it's also good for their minds. Puppy playtime is an important part of socialization and helps the pup learn important skills like how to interact with other animals. So the next time your Great Dane puppy seems like they just can't stop bouncing off the walls, remember that they're just trying to burn off some excess energy, and you might want to join in on the fun. Relax your pup at home. Dogs are social animals that thrive on companionship. For this reason, it's important to make sure your puppy feels comfortable and relaxed in your home. One way to do this is to provide a designated space for your pet to retreat to when they need some time alone. This could be a crate or a bed in a quiet corner of the house. It's also important to introduce your puppy to the family gradually. Allow them to approach each family member in their own time and be patient while they get used to new people and new situations. It's also a good idea to give your puppy a daily dose of exercise. A backyard or a nearby park is the perfect place for your pup to burn off some energy. Lastly, remember to be gentle with your puppy. They're still learning about the world and need time to adjust to their new surroundings. Gentle Giant Behavior in general, Great Danes are gentle giants. But like all dogs, they can have their moments of hyperactivity, especially when they're puppies. Fortunately, there are a few things you can do to help calm your pup down. With a little patience and effort, you can turn that bouncing ball of energy into a well-behaved adult dog. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and start training your puppy today. Great Danes can sometimes become restless and destructive when they don't have enough mental stimulation. That's why it's important to provide plenty of opportunities for your Great Dane puppy to exercise both their body and its mind. Regular walks, backyard playtime, and puzzle toys are all great ways to help keep your pup calm and well-behaved. And remember, be patient with your gentle giant. For more Great Dane information and goodies, check out Love Margo website and our social media. If you want to know more information about Great Danes, then check out this playlist of comprehensive Great Dane guides we have put together.